the place she was is not a place you can easily access her. That vision is inbound. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, hoping I get you well. Good morning. We've been with you in the journey that we've been trying to talk about starting out from the former disciples. We talked about uh, so many things, so many things in the sequence of how it's going. Today, there is a video circulating online and I know you uh, maybe have seen it. Uh, there, it doesn't have so much views as such, but I think it's around two days ago, the video was released on M, uh, online. And uh, is by, I don't even want to mention them, but I know when we will play it, I will only play the audio. We've been talking about the former disciples of Squan ganging up to bring down Squan in general and uh, uh, bring down Mama Evelyn in general. We've talked about this several times, not once, not twice, several times we talked about this. And some of their plans we have revealed on how they are planning, they are plotting, and how they are dealing with this. Some of the people coming in the comment section said, I'm biased, I'm trying to hit out to the former disciples. Some say, oh, I'm biased because I'm trying to lean on one side. No, we are not leaning on one side. We are just finding the faults of the people who are potentially still very proactively planning the things so that people really know this is what is happening if they happen. Now, part of the prophets, this is a very, very choreographed project between the former disciples. I will say this and I will say this because I have all the facts on the ground. All the facts on the ground and i'm not trying to play mr superman no i have all the facts on the ground i told you from the former i will not really mention names now i will just mention in in in, in a bulky situation the time i gave a video about the bold missions the bold mission that was led by the the former trustee joseph david if you can remember that video if you don't you didn't watch it please go to the list watch that video the bold mission when the bold mission was released out and they launched out in their endeavors there is one thing i noticed with them they had a rejuvenation a new rejuvenation and from that rejuvenation i discovered they had a plan i told you i told you in that video they had a plan now rejuvenation they came out and then you find still inca and Anne. they still come out and be talking about something you see, in a colluded world, the day Inca and Anne came and did one concert in Lagos, just around Scorn, <laughs> that day, there was something that was cooked up and the plan was working in. And then after a while, after a while, you had one thing that happened within University of God. The time they launched out University of God. There are previous videos I said about this that there is an attempt of some people trying to gain the name Scorn. I told you this. I told you this before. The name Scorn, if someone wants to gain this name, and then not just gaining this name, they want to gain this name to use it. Not knowing that name has no anointing. The anointing is within the people that make that name. And right now, Mama Evelyn is the only person who has the grace to carry the name to the next level. And then Carl is talking about something, about getting another name from heaven. What does it mean? I will take it from a positive side, that heaven will back Mama Evelyn and has backed her all around. And I said in the last episode before I did this, that this trial when we pray for Squan and pray for Pastor Evelyn, this one is not going to be a test of consolidation. It will be a powerful work for promotion. So anytime you pray, know that Squan is moving to a higher level. If you've never seen something like that, you wait and see. You've never seen real fire of ministry. You've not seen real grace working. Now is when it's coming. You've never seen real consolidation of manifestation. 
And in this one, you will find now many men of God in Nigeria now will start knowing that this woman of God, Pastor Evelyn, is now fighting a battle that is not her own. It's a universal battle. That the church now, that the church, the entire Nigerian fraternity in the gospel fraternity will now come to her aid to fight the battle together with her. The people and the men of God that did not even help Pastor, uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua in their war against social media, war against other places, now they will come to back her up. I want you to get this correctly. And they will come and join in. But meanwhile, before we go talking so much about some things, this one will be for God's glory. I'm playing it direct online from this gadget. I'm playing direct. The audio is connected. You will hear it from there. Remember the message I gave about the woman in the synagogue, Mrs. Evelyn Joshua. I said she was not within the school premises and the place she was is not a place you can easily access her. That vision is inbound. We are saying this so you can brace yourself for what is coming. God child must be monitored. I saw a ministry coming down from heaven, descending from God with a name on his forehead. This name is a thunder, a host which I'm not permitted to speak at the moment. Many are there with you in the flesh and not with you in spirit. After they get what they want in terms of money, position, after the fame, they will destroy you from within. I, I, I hope you heard something. This is one thing I've struggled since the video was released. I didn't want to show it here. There are so many things I can generate from this video. This man is also part of the same team that has been planning all this thing. These people have worked and worked. All their bloggers, they are working through the same thing. There are people working on the ground on legal matters. They are placed it. And they are picking, hand picking, hand picking, one by one. Who is positioned very well to do this? Oh, Joseph, David, come. You are a trustee. I'm, I'm not talking prophetically. I'm now talking prophetically. Oh, Joseph, David, you are the former trustee. Oh, come. Let's file a case in court. Okay, let's do this. Oh, Yinka and Ann. Uh -huh. This one. Blah, blah, blah. What happened during this and this, during that time and that time? What do we do now? Okay, I'll provide you witnesses. So, so and so, I will call number. So and so, bring this man. We want him to be a witness. Oh, who else? Ah, uh, Chris. Oh, and then Chris says, no, I don't want to be involved in such things. Okay, let's get his father. Oh, Tonge. Now, I'm, I'm giving you what happens behind scene as I'm talking to you now. Oh, now, and then Tonge calls Rasin. How are you doing, sir? Oh, man of God. Yes, this, 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 this. Is okay. And then he gives a little advice, small advice, small advice, and then say, I don't want to be part of this. So he gives in. So one person left as a senior counsel of this whole project, or oh, David. And then someone, I won't mention name, but I'm seeing someone is calling Joseph David right that moment. He calls, ah, Joseph. Eh. And then the word trustee plays back. Take note of that. The word trustee takes back the name of Joseph. And so they call him trustee, even now as I'm talking. If they call him, anybody that calls him from that group, 
they call him trustee, to give him confidence. What is the reason behind this war? They want to gain the name Squan. They want to take the name Squan to use it. And as I'm talking even now, well, that one I won't disclose, but this is a sensitive part of it. The summary of the whole thing is it will be a victorious warfare for Squan and their family of Squan. Everything may not work the way others would want it. But in the end of the day, Pastor Evelyn will have victory. And let me tell you, that is the unveiling of promise Joshua to a higher ground. That woman of God is going higher ground. This is the unveil. This battle is where they will unveil the calling of this, uh, our sister, our senior sister, promise Joshua. It will be a big unveiling. You won't hide it. Nothing will, <laughs> nothing will hide it. This is one of the biggest productive battles that will end in glory. If I can say, mark the word glory, it will end with glory. It will be a new face altogether. And that's where you will see the word, not mine, but his own. I will come back with more because this episode is so long. I can't contain everything in this one video. Timothy Profitable, and this is Blevoy. We handle your spirituality, economic, and social matters. See you in the next episode.